Hello mathematicians. Today we're going to be learning about absolute value of integers. So absolute value. The absolute value of a number is its distance from zero. In other words, the absolute value is how far away a number is from zero. Absolute value is represented by two lines, one before and after the number. For example, the absolute value of two is written as so you see here there's one line on each side and the two is in between, meaning that that's the absolute value of two. So the examples include that the absolute value of two, so that's how we would read this, is equal to two because two is two units away from zero. Absolute value of negative five is equal to five because negative five is five units away from zero. So here we have a model and we have a few questions. So the model can be used to help us answer these. So what is the absolute value of negative three? So we know that the absolute value is how far away a number is from zero. So here is where negative three is at. And negative three is one, two, three units away from three. So the absolute value of negative three is three because negative three is three units away from zero. What is the absolute value of three? So I'm gonna change the color here. So this is where three is. And then from zero, it's one, two, three spaces. So the absolute value of three is equal to three because three is three units away from zero. So what is the relationship between negative three and three? How do you know? So negative three and three are opposite numbers. We can tell that they are opposites because one is negative and the other number is positive and they are both the same distance from zero. And then what do you notice about the absolute value of negative three and three? So explain the relationship between the absolute value. Negative three and three are the same distance from zero. So opposite numbers have the same absolute value since they are the same distance from zero. So what is the absolute value of zero? And justify your answer. Well, here is where zero is at. And if we wanted to figure out how many spaces uh, zero is from zero, we would count the units. And so zero is zero spaces away from zero. So the absolute value of zero is zero. On our next slide, we have a prompt. So it says, different parts of the world use slightly different representations for their floor levels. In Europe and Australia, the ground floor, which is adjacent to the ground, is represented by the integer zero. All floors above ground level are positive and all floors below ground level are negative. In the US, Canada, and Russia, the ground floor is typically the first floor. This means that all floors above ground level are greater than one and all floors below ground level are less than one. So what do positive elevator buttons represent? Well, if you're talking about Europe and Australia, positive elevator buttons represent above ground level. In the US, Canada, and Russia, positive elevator buttons represent at and above ground level because one is positive and that is ground level in the US, Canada, and Russia, but two, three, and four, and so on are also positive and those are above ground level. What do negative elevator buttons represent? Negative elevator buttons represent below ground level in all examples described above. So whether we're talking about Europe or Australia or the US or Canada or Russia, negative um, elevator buttons will always represent below ground level. What does, zero, what does the zero elevator button represent? Well, 
In Europe and Australia, the zero elevator button represents at ground level. In the US, Canada, and Russia, the zero elevator button represents below ground level. So which floor is closest to ground level? Floor negative two or three? Well, in Europe and Australia, floor negative two is closer to ground level because the absolute value of negative two is two, and the absolute value of three is three, meaning floor two is only two floors away from ground level. In the US, Canada, and Russia, ground level is the first floor. So floor three is closer because it is two floors away, and floor negative two is three floors away. Which floor is closer to ground level? Floor negative one or one? Well, in Europe and Australia, both floor negative one and one have an absolute value of one, meaning they are both one floor away from ground level. In the US, Canada, and Russia, Floor 1 is ground level, so it is the closest by default, since we are already at ground level.